communications are on the right track.
Communications. We're on the right track. Object of power. 
Looks like the hiss have latched onto us. We need to plan it.
communications are on the right track. Object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Communications are on the right track. An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to press it.
It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Save this? There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss.
closet for this one. Uh, I've got the grip. Collectibles. We've got case files. Objects back. of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. There's a key nearby. This must open the door. Oh, the final big boss. Or the boss. Uh... Great.
have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I have...
All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. The hotline can't be far now. Apparently, yeah, it's kind of trippy. I feel like that's like giving something. I don't know. Come on now. Do this again. Happy enough.
Hotel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the Black Pyramid. <sighs> Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. has a black pyramid on it. Let's see if I can open it now. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Bro, that's deja vu. Look at, look at this. That's us. And we what?
It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. That phone connects to other uh, astro uh, planes. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I... Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. The hiss gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. 
Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? Not gonna happen. I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Hi, Jesse. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. The situation is getting worse. Inventory, can I lock this one? Oh, I don't have any more. What you call this? Abilities? Enter. No weapons, several mods. Don't be stupid. Oh, the Bureau's golden oh. child had to gain from killing the boss. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. <laughs> Never recorded any distance over five. Time to work. Meet me in the main
Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. That's the first one you need to suspect, the janitors. So sketchy. Beware of name memory, there are more resilient to damage, shouldn't you have more armor and your attacks can be devastating. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? down that way. OG to activate. Investigation is right. place makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Oh, that's nice. 
fair, okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, control. Enemies are immune to just attacks. Oh, how am I supposed to defeat the golden one? Please control to evade. Keep up with me now. to complete missions. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, but yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to say that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the pant around his head tighten. 
The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seat's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Find a way to fix the NSC power plant.
Atrás, 